Hey, what's happening, guys? Mike Moo here. I have the Asus Zephyrus G14. This is the 2020 version. Fantastic notebook computer. It is fan great for gaming, and lately I've been trying it out for Bitcoin mining just for fun. Now, obviously, there's some overheating issues that people need to be aware of, and that can be fixed. So this video is just a quick little video to show you how to go ahead and do that. You're going to have to open up registry editor and go to H key local machine, go into the system and then next go into con current control set. All right. From here, we're going to go ahead and scroll down a bit over to the control. And then you're going to go down to the power. From here, under the power, you can go down over to power settings. Now, keep in mind that if you can't see the things over there, you can just, you know, scroll and resize the window just the way I did. Now, you're going to go ahead and scroll down all the way look for this particular number, 54533251, right? It's in numerical order anyway. All right, from here, what you're going to do is go into double click basically every time you do this you see there you go to double click and we're going to go down to a particular profile all the way down uh, below past the numbers okay so this is the one that you're looking for all right you see that be three three seven two three eight zero going to double click on attributes and we're going to set that from the attribute one to attribute two and you're going to click on ok and save. All right. What that basically does is it enables a menu option that was previously not available. Now here I'm in power saver mode because I'm trying to keep the, the laptop as quiet as I can. Uh, but it functions the same way depending on whatever power mode that you chose to using the, the uh, Asus Armory. All right. You're going to go down over to the processor power management settings, All right? And then you're going to look at the processor performance boost mode. The problem with these Asus notebooks is they're all set on aggressive in every single power plan. And it really doesn't need to be aggressive all the time, okay? Particularly when you're gaming because you don't need all that CPU processing power typically when you're gaming for most games. And if anything, the AMD processor, the Ryzen 9 processor in here is absolutely fantastic and amazing. You don't need it to be aggressive all the time. So a lot of people say, just go ahead and disable that because you have plenty of power and it's going to be processing mostly off of your GPU anyway. All right, so you can go ahead and disable that. Now, notice that I have Power Saver because that's active. But if you go back into, well, not, not the gamer first portion, but you go to the armor, armory crate that is by Asus, you switch to different modes and you can go in there and make those adjustments as necessary. Now, if you need to go back and change, if, let's just say you want to you want to change your mind, you want awesome aggressive power performance all the time using a, you know, extra sp energy, just to put it on ultra performance boost, you can go back right in here and change it all back to aggressive. Default exactly the same way it was before. Not a problem. Okay. So I, I typically recommend that um, you can play around with the different settings, see what's, uh, see what's acceptable to you. Disabled seems to work for just about most games. You, you don't actually need that boost mode to be running. Now, some there might be certain times or maybe years down the line when you are running this computer and you really need to boost that performance and you want to do that aggressive. I mean, I don't know how long people keep their notebook computers these days, but if you do, you can always go back there and change it back to aggressive. Now, I had a question about uh, what these other different power performance modes are. Some of these are fairly self-explanatory and it just has to do with different power states. Uh, that are supported by the CPU. Okay, so there I'll have a link down to this one final article that I did find that goes over some of these states. 
the thing is you don't really have to worry too much about it just remember that the lower numbers uh, are basically aggressive is basically the um, the highest power state it usually is p0 or c0 um, you can save a little bit more power and cut down on how much uh, heat gets used when you choose a different uh, setting so um, aggressive is the most aggressive and obviously boosts up the power as quickly as possible efficient aggressive is one lower than that right so i think there's like three or four different power states oh here we go four different power states so you see you have all these different settings over here and aggressive is the most aggressive i believe so so efficient aggressive is somewhat less aggressive and etc so you can go ahead and play around those if you want to but for the most part if you are just using it as a regular normal rig and gaming without any additional other cooling uh, you can go ahead and go back in there and just switch it to disabled that seems to work fine for most now i might have some questions about uh mining you know crypto mining and since i did some videos about using nice hash and nice hash quick miner does this make any difference whatsoever well in the mining that i've done and the testing that i've done with nice hash and nice hash quick miner at, not as an expert mind you but it doesn't typically use the cpu as the primary means of of doing the mining all right um, when the miners want to rent and pay you in bitcoin for your processing power they really just want your gpu all right so you don't really have to worry about boosting any of the performance here because it's only using about 20 percent anyway and hash rate is way way slower than a video card uh, much such that it doesn't really matter you might as well not even mine at all using your cpu or use nice hash with your cpu uh, you might as well just stick with the rtx 2060 and then with that in mind, uh, I have recommended that you go back in and you adjust the manual fan settings so that it ramps up to 100% uh, fan speed. By default, even in turbo mode, it's only running at about 60%, maybe at max. And then even though you're using 100% of the processing power, so you really want to cool that down quite a bit. But even so, at 100%, I've been only hitting up to 80 degrees centigrade because it's not using a lot of CPU. I suppose if you really want to make the most out of it, then run the fans at maximum. Okay, maximum, keep everything aggressive if you want to. Uh, maybe you might get slightly better performance that way. Why don't you go ahead and try it out and let me know. Uh, I'm still running some tests to see roughly how much I'm still making here in mid-February using nice hash it's still just over two dollars a day and of course if hypothetically if things were to run as uh, as it continues to run throughout the rest of the year hypothetically i would get at least seven hundred dollars worth of bitcoin and then, of course if bitcoin rises uh, much higher than the market is right now which is close to fifty thousand dollars that could be worth definitely worth more so that's part of the reason why i went through uh, some of these tutorials because i know there's a lot of people out there who happen to have the g14 and you're not gaming all the time why not just have it make money all right that's it for this quick video hope you found this useful to you i hope you're enjoying your g14 uh keep in mind my recommendation is uh look if you're going to get into serious mining and you really care about the longevity of your computer or laptop then don't mine with it it's too risky all right all right that's it for this video please give it a like subscribe for more. I'll catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching.